Hey guys, it's t here. I got a triple play of Black Prince gameplay for you here tonight. Uh, this first game I just played, so I'm pretty familiar with it. The other two were from, I think, three and four weeks ago, so... Uh, I did have one game where I played with a guy that was playing into Black Prince and he was just sitting in the back and kind of ticked me off, so I asked him... I sent him a message and said, Are you putting up some good numbers back there or something kind of asshole-ish. And, uh, he wrote back to me and said Black Prince is a sniper, or a defensive tank, so in his mind that meant basically camp the base. And I wrote back to him, no, I'm sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, it's a slow tank, uh, but compared to the Tier 6 Churchill 7, especially when you get the engine upgraded, it's a lot faster. Uh, there I was trying to snapshot, I happened to hit that mound right as the shot went off, so I'm on this, but... You can see he's kind of getting backed up by my team, so I know he's going to be coming back. Either he's going to die, just sitting there and move back, so... Get the shot ready. But yeah, this tank is... It's not as slow as some people think, but... It's not a speedster, so you kind of gotta... Anticipate where you want to go, and based on what the enemy team has, uh, where they're gonna play and move there judiciously. Ready to fire on um, here you can see it's not really reading red, but that's a uh, cover you can mostly shoot through, so just keep that in mind. This guy right here is side scraping, but he's over angling a little bit. So see, uh, first I track him, and then I took a shot just to see if I could go through, and that one did go through. So that if you're gonna side scrape, you can see he's sticking his ass end out a little too far. So that's basically allowing us to wreck him pretty hard. Uh, so you know, pretty even on the map. Or on the scoreboard, maps looking about about how I'd want it to be. I mean, you can see we got a lot of guys sitting in the base, which heavy tanks. I mean, this is the, probably the biggest pet peeve of mine. If you're a heavy tank and you're sitting in the back, you're doing it wrong. If you want to sit in the back doing nothing, just load up already. I mean, at least they can potentially hit someone from back there. Those guys have no shots on anyone. They can't see anyone. So just don't even turn the game on if you don't want to do anything. You know, it's, I don't know. That's probably my biggest frustration with this game is people sitting in the back like that. <coughs> so yeah, looking at the scoreboard, I'm not. I don't have high hopes for this one at this point. And again, these shots, it's not necessarily outlined in red all the time, but a lot of that cover in that area you can shoot through, so it's, it's worth taking the shots to try it at least. This guy, I think I hit his gas tank twice, so he probably repaired it the first time. A lot of people wonder, should he repair the gas tank or not? I think if you have the majority of your hit points, it's worth doing, because if that thing goes off and start on fire, you're basically screwing yourself up for the rest of the match. Uh, these guys, I really want to hit that Hellcat. That thing, assuming he's got the upgraded gun, it's a very dangerous gun. You want to get rid of it as soon as you can. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get pretty annoyed by these guys sitting back there. Tiger P rolling through, I think someone lit him on fire, so. That's a bad move. I'm trying to cut that out of my own play. It's just pushing forward into multiple guns that can shoot you with no cover. It's just. Might be a good play in Call of Duty, but it's a really bad play in this game. And so you can see this Black Prince. This is fully upgraded. I think both sets of guns on this tank shoot pretty quick, though, and. Especially this one's got pretty good penetration. Now, granted, I'm on um, some top tier games, so. Thought that tank would drive through, I was gonna track him, but. 
This is low enough we get to take them out. Here, I didn't really want to. Or is it? I think my teammate. He's trying to get through, and you know, I'm kind of a dick pushing all the way, but. You know. I thought it would be easier for me to kill him than for him, but maybe that was a dick move. You can decide for yourself. It's KV2, I'm assuming just shot. I actually thought he was facing the other way when I was playing this, but if he doesn't blast you right away, it's got about a 20 second reload on that thing, so if you get a chance to take him out, do it, because that's a very dangerous tank, especially, you know, maybe the tier 8 game is not so dangerous, but 6 and 7, it can do some major damage. So now we've actually taken the lead. Um... But this situation ends up really pissing me off. I end up basically having to take on the last three guys by myself. I think this uh, SU or whatever this tank destroyer is kills one of our guys and then... You can see we got that Achilles sitting in our base. Medium tank sitting in the field doing god knows what. Uh, this KV... what the hell is it? KV-13 or whatever. He's doing a good job side-scraping, so I compare this to what the T-29 was doing. I end up tracking him a few times, but you can see when I'm kind of probing him to see if I can go through the side. It doesn't work on this guy. Uh, this uh, heavy metal hero tank is full health. That's kind of worrying me. So you can see it's showing red on here. It's worth trying the shot, but that's pretty steeply angled, so you're pretty much gonna bounce. I couldn't tell exactly what he's behind. It ends up he's fully behind a corner of a building. I thought he might be behind some, like, fountain or something, so... This guy I'm trying to get involved. Uh, it's not gonna be the first time I send him a signal. Yeah, I mean, you know... I'm still trying to keep that guy track. I don't know if I ever actually track him or not, but I can tell we're gonna have to make a move here and if I can get that guy frozen in place at least, that would help. That one for sure you can see the track came off, so I probably should have pushed a little more aggressively there. Just because he was, you know, he's it's a fairly low tier game, so you can assume his crew is probably not that great. Maybe he's got repair. The chance of him having repair and track repair are pretty low unless you specifically train up that crew pretty high. Um, so yeah, this tank destroyer is still wrecking our team. I think he, that medium's going on to kill him. He takes out a. Uh, Looks like an AT-7 there. Our medium puts a shot into him, which helps, but I can tell. So now I got basically these three guys. I can tell that fucker in the bottom of the map there isn't going to do anything. Uh, this guy was turned around shooting into the field, so I tried to kill him in the back there, but I knew if I missed, I could hit him in the side. And then I do my best here to fend this guy off. I knew he was coming behind. Um, that guy damaged my turret there, which probably cost me a shot. Do get a few shots in him, which actually ended up being four shots. So this guy on my team should have been able to do this. If he was up there helping me, he would have won this one pretty easily. Uh, you can see here, I don't think it cuts to what I... I sent him a message telling him what I thought about his game. Uh, it's probably good that you can't see what I was writing to him because it was pretty nasty. And it's... Uh, you can say it's a little embarrassing at the end of the game. I think he had the second highest damage on our team, so he was doing something. But you know, when, when it counted, he wasn't doing anything, so I got really pissed off about that. You know, you can't just let your team die. But, anyway, it ended up being a pretty good game. Uh, it's typically how you'd want to play a city map in that tank. 
If you're a lower two, you might want to side scrape a little more and just peeking around the corners like I was doing, but all in all, pretty good one. Uh, this game I played, this was either four weeks ago or three weeks ago, so it's not as fresh. I'll just kind of introduce it and then let it ride, and then I'll introduce the last game. This one I was trying to go hill, um, but again, the slower nature of this tank, that's probably a bad call. You're probably better off playing like the E line right below, you know, like E6 there. Um, shooting anyone that pokes over, and then you can get shots in the hill. But once I figure out I can't get up there, then I kind of play that little village to the east and ends up working out pretty well. So I'll let you guys rock the game and then uh, I'll probably give a little intro to the last game here. So. Destroyed. 
target. We pierced their armor. He's gone. Find us another target. That one left a big hole. So a slash game we got on Fisherman's Bay. Um, you can see I'm gonna play the city. I end up playing a little bit more out in the field than you probably want to play. You want to kind of get behind the city when you're going south, so the guys in the field have a harder time shooting at you. But it ends up working out this game. But yeah, the Black Prince. I've only played uh, 18 games in it. I was planning on kind of using my. XP boosters to get through it because the Churchill 7, I just really hated that tank and I thought this was going to basically be the same thing. Um, but I, I'm i going to end up keeping this tank and trying to 3 mark it at some point. Uh, I got super Unicum stats and I granted, you know, I've played less than 20 games so they'll probably go down but, you know, the gun hits hard enough and it shoots really quickly and the armor's pretty good. And the speed, like I say, it's slow, but it's not, it's not, a, you know, coma-inducing slow, so. Um, you know, I 
3 out of 18, what's that, 1 6 of my games I've aced as tanks, so I think that's probably because a lot of people just get through it as quick as they can and maybe really good players don't like to play it a lot or whatever. But if you're looking for a tank that you can put up some, either an ace on or maybe try to mark a tank, it's probably a good candidate at least right now. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this last game, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Again, I was trying to play more in the city, but um, this, this position ends up working out pretty well. So, hope you guys enjoy the game. And I got a lot of a lot of matches saved up. I try to get through them as quick as I can, but I keep getting more races than I got time to put on here. So, we'll see y'all next time, and have a good one. Peace.
Zero penetration. Our track is busted. We can't move. Got him in our front. Penetration. Oh, the radio man is down. The radio is almost failing them. Focus on this location. Dropping target. on this area. 